the digestive system. The organs of the digestive system that are directly involved in digestion are the lips and mouth, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, the small and large intestine, the rectum, and the anus. The accessory organs, such as the liver and pancreas, aid in digestion. Some of these organs aid in producing enzymes that help to break down nutrients. Procedures on the lips can include biopsy and repairs. Repairs are divided by the type of deformity corrected. The vestibule of the mouth, which is made up of some mucosal tissue of the lips and cheeks, can include procedures such as incision and drainage, excision and destruction, and repair coats. Terminology of the tongue and floor of the mouth is important when selecting coats. Lingual means pertaining to the tongue. Sublingual pertains to the area underneath the tongue. And frenum means a connection. Incision and excision codes are found first in the subsection, and repair codes are differentiated by the size of laceration and the site of repair. Codes for the palate and uvula include only one incision code. The palate is the roof of the mouth, and the uvula is the piece of tissue that hangs at the posterior border of the soft palate. The three pairs of salivary glands secrete saliva. Codes for these include biopsies and excisions, and also repair codes. The next code range is the digestive, in the digestive system includes codes for the pharynx, adenoids, and the tonsils. The pharynx is commonly known as the throat, and tonsils are masses of lymphatic tissue that aid in the defense of the body. There are three pairs of tonsils. The esophagus is a muscular structure that moves food from the pharynx to the stomach. It does this by way of, of peristalsis. Procedures to code for the esophagus include endoscopic procedures, which can be diagnostic or surgical, and other procedures such as repairs, manipulation, dilation, and ligation. Procedures on the stomach can include gastrotomy for exploration, suture repair of bleeding ulcer, or insertion for permanent tube placement. There are also excisions which can be found in the index under biopsy, excision, gastrectomy, and vagotomy. Other procedures include introduction or changing of a G or NG tube. Please pay close attention to all notes. And also included are, is bariatric surgery, which is used for the treatment of morbid obesity. Intestinal procedures include incisions and excisions. Terminology is essential when coding intestinal procedures. Terminology such as enterolysis, which is the freeing of intestinal adhesions, duodenotomy, 
which is an incision into the duodenum, enterotomy, which is an incision into the intestines differentiated by the reason for the procedure. Transplant surgery for the intestines also has three components of work. The first component would be the donor enterectomy, which is the removal of the donor intestine. The backbench work, which is the preparation of the intestines. And the last component would be the transplant to the recipient. Other procedures on the intestines include laparoscopy, which is only for surgical procedures. Artificial openings, or ostomies, will be coded according to the area in which the ostomy is located. Terminology is necessary to code correctly. Endoscopy of the small intestine is based on scope placement. These codes can also be used to report endoscopic procedures through a stoma, which is a surgical opening between a part of the intestine and the outside surface of the ab abdominal skin. Always code endoscopies to the furthest extent of the procedure. In other words, you're going to code according to the furthest part the scope reached. The anus is the most distal structure for the digestive system. The most common procedure is the hemorrhoidectomy. A hemorrhoid is an enlarged varicose vein in or near the anus and can have complications such as strangulation or ulceration. Hernias are a protrusion, protrusion or bulge through the tissue that normally contains the structure. Terms used in hernia surgery would be hernioplasty, herniorraphy, or herniotomy. Hernias are common in the digestive system. Coders must know the type of hernia, such as an inguinal hernia, hiatal hernia, whether a hernia repair is an initial or a subsequent repair, and the clinical presentation, such as strangulated or incarcerated. The codes are also based on the age of the patient. Any questions regarding the digestive system can be emailed to me.